If you give me 16 minutes and five seconds, I promise you it'll be well invested. Myself and Ali, we sat down earlier this week and we recorded a really cool video where we went into massive detail on more product validations. This is something we see people constantly getting stuck with. So we're gonna jump over right now. We're gonna show you exactly how to validate a product to make sure that the competition is not too high and things like that. And you will learn a ton. So give this video a massive like right now. Thank you. Let's get started. Ali, we're back with more validations and we are wasting no time whatsoever. We're getting into this first one here with Nadim. What are we looking at, sir? Yep, so I'm assuming it's this product here. So these are tree watering stakes. We've seen these before, but more kind of smaller versions geared towards smaller plants. So I've never actually seen uh, a one that is more to geared towards tree. So yeah, tree watering steak. Obviously, the one we looked at for anybody watching, you might have noticed it was 60 odd thousand. So that would be out of range, but it's good to search Amazon to see if there's other stuff in range. What does the market look like and stuff like that? So we, what were the results there, Ali, we had for this uh, keyword? 390? 390. So that's pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the one that we looked at originally just now, which is obviously out of range. And we've got a few more down here, which aren't the same product. Right yeah. away, we're just not seeing a, a market, unfortunately. Yep, that one's pretty easy. It's a strike off. But remember, everybody, little uh, kind of clue here. There's lots of other products here that you could be searching and seeing what the market looks like. Things like the, uh, the root soaker irrigation tool layer and things of that nature. We're not going to do that now. That's just something you can be doing. So again, that's uh, it, all is not lost. But I mean, that's an easy rule out because the market is just uh, just too small. So I'm going to pick the next one. This comes in from Thomas. Let me just send it over to you now, Ali. So this is a... Three. It's a table for a spa or a jacuzzi. What a terrible listing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, what are people thinking? I just never know. There could be a tray, their hot tub tray. Well, that looks right. Yeah, you got tables there. I was like to ignore the sponsored products. Obviously, they were going to be duplicated later on in the search, yeah. as you can see on this, this one here, which is selling well. Nice price point as well. Terrible listing, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Then onto the next row. This is not the same product. However, this is also selling well. Similar price point as well. Not Amazon FBA, that one as well. Mm -hmm. Another one here. Mm -hmm. Slightly higher in price, also in range. And we have one that's more of a floating table, so not the same product. Still, that's not FBA too. Worth researching further. Absolutely. And then there was another one here, which is in range. We've got one here, which is out potentially to do with the price point, I imagine. But so far, I've got a handful that are in range, so definitely a good level of demand for this product so far. Decent amount of sales in the market. Probably not going to be a, a, like a life-changing 100 a day, which is fine. Uh, but certainly the offerings of the market that are out there are fairly weak, I would say. You could definitely come in with a much better offer, a much better listing, and I think you could do very, very well with that. Yep, absolutely. I mean, looking at the main images for each of these offerings i mean they're all poor which is yeah. rare to see you know one after the other with terrible main images so yeah, yeah. and the uh the the price point the higher price point seems to have worked better and i think that's just down to even though it's not a great image it's a better image than the other ones and now it is breaking in terms of service on amazon because it's not a white background uh but that said the, the 59 dollars one seems to be it's it's selling pretty much the best uh, close to the best and certainly for the price it's that it's really interesting so i would look at the different price points in this market as well see what what comes back from your supplier but i would definitely take this to a supplier ali would you agree Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so nice one, Thomas. Well done. We're going to move on to uh, Marie or Mary. I'm not too sure how you say your name, but there you go, Ali. So these are tea tins or tea canisters. That's one thing I like to look at whenever I'm looking at search terms. That, I mean, products like this could be described in a number of ways, but we've got Amazon Choice for tea canister. So this gives me an indication that there's a lot of people typing this in. So. It's a good idea. Great point. I like that. And as well, like the, the shorter tail keyword, the, the better. I think it's just one N in that, Ali. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, see N. Uh, but the shorter tail keyword is great because you at least you, you know that you're looking at what the customer is going to be looking at when they when they search that. Okay. Well, I was a little bit worried about this product whenever we um, saw it, but let's just, let's just do the work on it. Yeah. Well, I did expect to see a lot more than 2,000 search results for this search term. Got two along here. We've got a six pack and a four pack, both selling very well. I mean, in terms of tea canister, tea storage, the function is the same. So we would have to consider all of these products to be uh, competition. We're into flavors now, right? Yep. So flavors for anybody not sure, just meaning that 
lots of different styles, different types. Like Ali just said, we have to include them because they provide the same function. Therefore, someone would be considering all these different styles and is going to buy really based on style, actually. Absolutely. And then yeah. when, we look, when we're looking at this line, I mean, price points are, are very inconsistent. And then we've got that style issue. I mean, if, if we were to look at this uh, and narrow the search down by typing in stainless steel tea canister we're only going to be targeting you know not really kind of like the largest uh net as possible when looking at the generic term so for me there's far too much confusion just on the first two lines scroll down as well we can see a lot of different uh, size variations styles again and uh yeah there's no real clarity as to what you would sell here like you would mm -hmm. be you'd be wondering certainly yeah okay so i would rule that one out uh, we based upon what we just talked about, uh, Marie. So we'll move on now, Ali, to the next person, Marwa. Uh, this is from her. I believe it's a, it's a she. If not, I'm really sorry, but I'm pretty sure, Marwa, that you're you're a female. And uh, let's go take a look at it. One second, I'm going to jump you away from the video. A really big ask I have for you: two things today. One, please give the video a like, and secondly, I would love a comment down below. I'm going to make it really easy for you. Let me know if you want more validations or if you want more research so more research being over the shoulder going through the process more hacks and stuff like that so more validations if you want more validations like this or more research if you want hacks things like that more of that jump down below give us a comment and a like and get back to the video snow fence looking at this as a snow fence but it's also a oh yeah one of these or a safety fence safety fence seems plastic maybe you know we are getting what we're looking for two thousand search results and this is the one that we, we found originally. $29.97, selling very well. So we're more of a bundle here. We can see it's a lot higher in price. And this looks to come with some stakes and also the cable ties as well. And onto the next row, we've got a few more here. So we've got four foot by 100. Just want to check what this is. Same as well here as well. Two more down here, which are selling well. These two are obviously not the same, so we can ignore those. Got another one here, and this is a smaller size. So I'll take half price is accordingly as well so yeah. so far definitely a good level of demand and the same here as well for the shorter length and another one here as well so potentially a few different markets within the same market we've got the, the yeah. two by 50 and the two by 100 um yeah. had we have seen a lot more different variations in terms of um lengths and sizes i would have seen this as a little bit too confused but i, I actually would rule this in and take it to the suppliers Yep, yeah, uh, some of the people actually not even using FBA there, so that's good as well. Uh, listings don't look all that great either, so worth getting pricing on, seeing what the story is, and rolling it on. Because again, if you look at the product that's doing the best here, there's the oh, this orange style, which was at the top. I mean, it's it's a really poor poor listing. Like um, yeah. <laughs> the image is terrible. So nice one, Mara. Well done. Uh, you did a great job there. We're going to go on to Ariel or Ariel. I'm not too sure how you say her name. But I'm going to search. We're going to search your product now. Let's take a look, Ali. What do we got here? Baby Matt. But let's just have a look at the images just to get an idea of what this is. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, kind of difficult to describe. Um, you can see that Amazon's choice for busy baby Matt, but this is a coined phrase, you know, the brand is busy baby. So whenever we're looking at products baby. like that, I, I tend to want to stay away from them just because it's, it's not a generic product that we could really have a suitable search term for. It's just hard to know, like, because you could be going for baby suction placemat, seemed kind of long tail, baby placemat. Uh, that's going to bring up then lots of different types of products. So you can even yeah. just search the alley just so we can show yep. kind of that level of confusion. Like, so someone's trying to describe this and like, oh, a baby placemat, maybe, you know, what, what exactly is it? And then, suppose if you search that, you look down and you see the product there that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. And then now you're getting into other ones, though, literally ones that just go on. There's just so many different types here and styles. Yeah. It's hard to know what people really want uh, in, in this market, I, I would say. I mean, you can see as well, I would just say a busy baby, Matt, that we did look at. Something, just something about that feels protected to me or something. It just looks too design-led as well, you know, what I'd be concerned about. But I just think the sheer lack of clarity here would be my concern, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it's one of those products that are, you know, a really good idea and a really cool invention, but uh, unfortunately that's not what we're... Yeah, like, uh, we're exactly. And, and these people are making sales, you know, like people might throw it back at us, Ali. Like these people are making sales for sure, but at the end of the day, we're looking to give you products that are very clear 
you know exactly what what to sell and it's 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 clear whereas with something like this you could certainly do a product like it and maybe you would do quite well from it but certainly not in one of your first products you got to keep away from this flavor kind of stuff massively mm -hmm. yeah. yeah we got candace next let's move on this one comes in from valerie oh okay so there's a body wrap for for use like in a sauna interesting so i'm gonna go with the most short tailed and go with body wrap just to see what yeah. that looks like first always good to go for worst case scenario Obviously, very, we can see that like exactly how the consumer would do they'll type in the most generic they'd probably not find what they're looking for yeah, and then they'll start making it longer tail. So, like um, somewhere maybe or something. Yeah, yeah, getting a little better. Yeah, two thousand search results, and I think just have, I think a scan down. We are There's where we want to be. Yeah, first one here. Ranks not showing. So can't really go on anything like that. This is more of a <laughs> scary contraption, which is not the same. <laughs> not the same product. Not FBA as well. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Can't really gauge anything on this one. It's not showing its BSR. However, this is, and I believe it's the one that we looked at originally. Target, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I mean, potentially, we can look at the the history. See if anything's there. Nothing showing here either. Okay, there's uh, 66 then for the a different size. That one is. It's not much information here, unfortunately, really on this one. No, nope. well, that's doing well. Twenty three, okay. And is that the same? It's not the same brand name, but it's definitely the same kind of image and stuff like that, which is odd. So that's a fifty pack, forty seven by eighty two. Yeah, it's like just the same manufacturer image. I'm I'm wagging my finger. It's a big no no. That is, I used to, I did it I did it many years ago, but don't do that. Yeah. So that that's interesting then that they're all doing that's doing pretty well as well. You know, I mean we're on the higher side here, as in like we're on the it's a smaller market for sure. Um, probably not that much demand really for it, but might be worth getting pricing on it just to see what comes back. Yeah, I mean, on a product like this, if, if the numbers come back fine and you can compete at twenty nine ninety nine with a bonus, because uh, I, I mean, for, for this to be really worthwhile, you would need to dominate in this market just because of the overall size of the market. Exactly. So it's okay. Worth getting priced on. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too excited about it, but it's decent research. So well done. And there you go. So we're on to uh, Stuart next. I sent you that list. Yep. Okay. Yep. So came across uh, this product on either a video or a block list. I can't remember exactly where, but this is one of those items that is, is again, really good idea, you know, back saving, probably one of those things that you'd see on Dragon's Den, potentially. Yeah. It's almost like an as seen on TV. So products like this, you know, we're looking for very boring established style products. But let's let's go with our search term and see what the market looks like. It's going to be a plant mover. Okay. Obviously, we have a few of the kind of trolley versions, which is not the and same. I, I would, and just as a side note, I would be looking at those as well, separately. Mm. Yep. In fact, that was actually one of the, the 20 and 20 products. So uh, we there have a look at those. And uh, well, they can if they want, but they wouldn't be the best <laughs> idea. So there's this one here, obviously, the pot, li uh, pot lifter, which mm -hmm. is what they're calling it. Obviously, nice price point, selling very well. Seems to be the only one that's doing anything in this market. And as we scroll yeah. down, there's nothing else really here. So again, that kind of drives down my initial thoughts of, is this someone's idea? Is this, is this something that's heavily driven outside of Amazon by an inventor and by a company? They're doing a decent job of it if that's what they are doing anyway. But yeah, that is certainly the, you know, if you want to <clears throat> you want to call it the concern, that is it for sure. But it's pretty, I mean, it's doing well. The mm -hmm. numbers kind of look like they're stacking up. So I think you'd have to go and see if you can get pricing on it and then go, mm -hmm. but like, it's hard to know because there's only one in the market, you know? Definitely. But that's a good thing too, yeah. you know? Also, I would want to look at patents as well. Okay, great. Nice job. Well done, Bill. On to Axel now next okay so this one's from bill actually sorry ali i got that wrong the last yep. one i think was from stewart i think yep. no worries now this looks like my kind of <laughs> my kind of boring product yeah it's a rain barrel stand beautiful and it's not <laughs> fba I our members are finding a lot of non-fba products at the moment which is very impressive 348 search results for rain barrel stand this is the one that we just looked at obviously selling very well we've yep. got another one at 50 dollars, which is making some sales and one at 47, which is out of range. Horrible color though. And then if we scroll down, these are actual barrels. This is a barrel with a stand, which isn't really doing anything. Yeah, so it seems like a relatively small market, mm -hmm. but the ones that are doing well, the 10,000 is doing pretty well. That's the only one you're really competing with. It is non-FBA as well, so that is interesting, but 
it's a kind of a small enough market really Ali, isn't it oh yeah yeah i mean uh, is that price point again you know if it had it been a 10 dollar item we wouldn't be interested but at this price point you wouldn't need to be selling five ten a day for it to be worthwhile yeah which you know uh, is possible but you know not as likely at that kind of a BSR level, because you'd have to get ahead of that one or certainly match that one. Uh, yeah. So it's not bad, but again, maybe with the FBA listing, it would improve sales as well. You know, it's hard to know, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But even for practice, why not get pricing? And if the pricing is a knockout on it, you're making a lot of money, maybe this is something you might want to consider then, I would say. Yeah. So we can move on to Axel now, then, and that's the one ending in G. Now, Bosmere are a pretty big brand. I'm okay. quite sure about that. There's a tree mulch ring or a uh, tree yeah. protection mat. Terrible listing again. Well done. Everyone's finding bad listings today. That's good. Yeah. We would smash these listings very easily. The tree mulch ring brings back 181 search results. Yeah. Got the boss mirror one here. That's a 24 inch three pack selling well. We have another one here for a four pack, which is not selling as well. And more than double the price as well. So not doing as well. Then we have one here, which is on the outer limits. Yeah. It's made from natural cocoa fiber. This one it could natural. be hard to source this as well, you know. Yeah, and then also kind of complications with the, the import as well, exactly. just because it's a natural product. But let's have a look at the market as well and see if we can rule it out there. Yeah, we'd be kind of out at this point, just so you guys know. But uh, yeah, even just looking at that market, I'm kind of even at a quick look, I'm out, but uh, we'll see anyway. Yeah, I mean, the market's just just too small yeah, and we also small. have a number of different pack sizes, styles, offerings. Consumer yeah. has a lot of choice here. And I'd say Axel, good segue opportunities. Going to be a lot of products related to these that could be better, um, you know, better BSR spectrum and stuff like that, which is obviously what we're after. So, you know, there's 10 products, everybody that we've gone through from scratch and validated. I hope you guys have learned a lot. We get a lot of good ones today, Ali, uh, you know, bad listings and um, things like that. So I, I think the overall research level is quite good today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really impressed. So well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. You got lots of value. Give it a big like, as always. Jump in the comments and give us that little comment I asked for as well. And Ali, thank you so much for coming today and giving us some of your time. I know we all learned a bunch today. So thanks a million. That's my pleasure.